what is up guys welcome back to the channel for those that are new to the channel guys enjoy my content make sure to subscribe like the button below also follow me on my twitter on my twitch and also my tiktok which is yasky underscore yt all right so today i want to show you guys the best loadouts for season two in warzone and uh, it took a while to raven software fix all the attachments especially for cold war but kind of they fix it right now but uh, I had the, the best class setup for you guys, but don't don't trick yourself reading what the attachments do because they are, they don't actually do what they say. If that makes sense. So let's start here, and uh, because uh, after watching a lot of videos and also playing with those loadouts that I made before, I noticed that the attachments they're not working as intended. I was like, well, but this attachment was telling me that I was gonna aim down sight faster, but it was not working. So, I don't know. So after testing a lot of attachments and stuff like that, I got the best loadouts here and probably a bunch of people kinda use the same loadouts as I use, but I'm gonna drop you guys 10 loadouts so you guys can slay in season two, all right? Let's go over here. The first loadout here, I have the AUG and my attachments for the AUG are Agency Suppressor, they fixed it finally. I have the 18.8 Strike Team Barrel here. And then under barrel I have Field Agent Foregrip. So I can have better accuracy and less recoil, if that makes sense. Ammunition, I have the 45 Speed Mag. And um, the Optic, I use the Axial Arms 3x Scope. But you guys can use this one as well. The only thing is, this scope has less visual recoil but you aim down sight slower than if you use the three times scope all right but if you guys rock any of these you're gonna, you guys are gonna be fine and uh, my second class here is a diamante all right so as you guys know they nerfed the akimbo for the diamantes right but you guys don't know that the diamante without the akimbo is still is disgusting so the class setup for this one, you can two burst people with this class setup here. If you guys are up close, of course. I use the agency suppressor and then task force barrel. The laser, I use the five milliwatt laser. And then ammunition, I have the 30 uh, round speed mag. And then the rear grip, I only use the speed tape so it can aim down sight faster without having any cons, all right? This gun is actually re really good if you guys wanna try it out. Like if you guys play solo, I recommend this loadout right here because you guys are gonna have ghost and uh you know like solo is very very campy so there's like a lot of people like camping buildings like holding a heartbeat sensor trust me they play like that in solos unfortunately and then the second loadout here i have for you guys is the mac 10. so for the mac 10 um let me fix this first all right oh, there we go so the mac 10 i have agency suppressor and i have the reinforced heavy barrel which is the 6.1 and then under barrel the one that works the best for recoil on this weapon is the uh, SFOD speed grip All right and then ammunition I have the 53 uh, round mag and then I use no stock to have more mobility and also it more sprint to fire time all right most of the people they use both of these stocks right here they use no stock and rated stock I personally I like better no stock because I move way faster all right so our fourth weapon right here is gonna be the M16 guys so the M16 I have agency silencer barrel strike team barrel uh, under barrel field agent for grip ammunition 60 round fast mag and then my optic I use the three times scope that's what I like you know uh, I don't I don't know if this sight will be good for the M16 uh, I, but I know this one is pretty accurate and but there's barely any recall using this one so, all right and then let's go over here our fifth weapon is the MP5 MP5 still slaps guys I personally I like the MP5 from Modern Warfare better than the Cold War MP5 because you have more mobility it shoots faster and I think the also the aim down sight speed is better and the recoil is way better too uh time to kill it might be very close 
but this weapon right here is you know it's 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 got it like it, it can compete it can compete with the mac 10 still um it has more range than the mac 10 as well more damage range i would say uh, but i think up close the mac 10 will beat the mp5 all right so barrel i use the monolith monolithic integral suppressor here and then under barrel I use ranger for grip and then ammunition 45 round mag and then slide of hand you guys play quads a lot this is very very helpful if you guys don't play quads you guys play duos or solos you guys don't need to use light of hand you, get, you guys can switch light of hand for a steeple grip tape if you guys play on mouse and keyboard on computer you guys can use the five milliwatt laser instead of the slide of hand all right and then my stock here i have the collapsible stock because it gives me a lot of mobility and also does it does not affect at all the recoil on this weapon all right and then let's see right here what we have next so we have one two uh three four five the amax the Amax, oh my god. The Amax is one of my favorites. So for the Amax, I use a monolithic suppressor. I have the XRK Zodiac barrel. And then under barrel use command commando for grip and then ammunition 45 round mag. And then on the optic, I just use VLK scope. And uh let me see what else here. Um so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my sniping class when the circle ends in like a spot like farmland prison I love sniping with the HDR I personally I like better the HDR than the Carnegie and that's this is what I have on my HDR I have the monolithic suppressor sorry monolithic suppressor I have the HDR uh, pro barrel and then tech laser and then uh, variable zoom scope and stock i use the stock champion so i can uh aim um without having that uh idle sway a lot so this stock right here is pretty good if you guys like to snipe with the hdr all right and then here what else we have here um car 98 loadout and um monolithic suppressor uh barrel i use the singard customs 27.6 monolithic suppressor here and then tech laser sniper scope on my optic and then rear grip i use a steeple grip tape all right so how many classes i just uh showed you guys so one two three four five six seven eight so there's this one is special guys this one a lot of people don't have no idea about it but this class right here is cracked so for the RPD LMG from Black Ops Cold War, use the GRU suppressor. I use the 16.5 RPK barrel. And then under barrel, use the Spetness grip right here. And then ammunition, I just use Fast Mag because I already have 75 bullets, which is a lot. So you can even wipe a whole squad with one mag, you know? And the Fast Mag is gonna help you a lot because if you don't have a fast mag it's gonna take a while to reload with this weapon all right and then on the optic we use the multi-zoom uh suset multi-zoom guys this shit is crazy bro like i'm telling you guys have to try it out by yourself and for our next class setup here i have the ffar ffar guys uh is basically like a weapon for up close gunfights such as the mac 10 or the mp5 and then this is what i use on my ffar i use agency suppressor barrel i have this one that gives you a lot of bullet velocity and i uh, also have uh, aim down sight speed faster than the other barrels and then under barrel the one that gives you better recoil is the sfod speed grip and then i have 55 round speed mag yeah 50 round fast mag and then stock i use the rated stock because you can strafe a lot and you also increase your sprint to fire speed and uh, i don't know if this affects the ads honestly but this one right here gives you a lot of mobility and also increase your sprint to fire time speed which is uh incredible it's really good for uh up close gunfights all right so that's it guys basically 
Uh, the perks that I usually I run is double time, overkill, and amped, and then I grab my my ghost loadout on my second loadout. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are brand new here, please make sure to subscribe, like the button below. Also follow me on my Twitter, my TikTok, and my Twitch. And uh, see you guys on the next one.